The spirituality of St. Maximilian is often compared to Fatima, and often the remark is made he doesn't seem to have even known that there was such a thing. That could well be. He doesn't say he knows it, but he'll say he deny it or anything. We just don't know. He left no written record, and nobody apparently quoted him uh, making references to Fat Fatima. But we must always keep in mind that until 1946, he was martyred in 1941, one, one, practically nobody outside of Portugal, even in Spain, with except those few places where Sister Lucy was a, was a, was a, uh, was, was a sister before she became a Carmelite, uh, a Carmelite in Portugal, uh, Portugal. Nobody knew about uh, Fatima. It was simply, there was no propaganda for nothing. It was only after the Second World War. So it could be well possible that he didn't know, most other saints at that time didn't seem to know anything about, uh, anything about it. That makes the coincidence between A, the miracle of the sun, and the founding of the militia upon it so much more interesting. You have to keep in mind the succession of dates that it was in February and March that the Tsar was overthrown. But the Bolsheviks did not come to power immediately. Blessed Karl, the last emperor of Austria, Austria, blocked his exit to Russia through the Austrian Empire. He almost lost his throne. The Germans were so angry about that. But anyway, anyway, it was a combination of New York, London, and Hamburg money that managed to get Lenin out of Switzerland through Germany into Sweden, into Finland, uh, but that was only in towards July, August. Okay. Before, uh, well, uh, before that, Russia was run by, by a group of politi uh, po politicians. The emperor was held in a kind of house arrest. Uh, 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 rest. But when Lenin arrived, things began up. And finally, as it were, he took over full power at the end of October in the Gregorian calendar, 1st of November. That would have been 10 days earlier, uh, earlier the October. But we are talking, he was two weeks after the miracle of the sun and the, uh, and the foundation of the militia of the Immaculate to promote specifically what is at the heart of, uh, of the triumph of the Immaculate Heart, including uh, us, that is total consecration to the Immaculate. We have here an echo of St. Louis Grand de Montfort, but we must recognize that the total consecration of St. Maximilian comes not immediately from de Montfort, but from St. Francis of, uh, of, 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 of Assisi. So there we have the, uh, the connection between St. Maximilian and, Fa and Fa Fa Fatima. It's part of a larger divine plan. Our Lady chooses different people for different parts of it. She is the one who is holding the whole thing together. If you consider some of the, some of the devotion, devotion to Jesus Christ King, that's promoted by Dan Lynch, if you talk mercy devotion, if you take devotion to Our Lady of All Nations, uh, I, I the pure the man in Amsterdam. Study them carefully. You see the language, the style, the ideas are all the same. And yet all these people were not acting in consort. St. Maximilian didn't consult with Sister Lucy that this is, the, this is the moment. Our Lady is immediately directing all of these different figures. There is a, a general uh, uh, crescendo Nando, of, uh, of proofs, of demonstra dem demonstrations, of illustrations of the divine idea. So that is one one. Kind of, the other is obvious that, that uh, while our our Lady is describing the wartime spiritual conditions. Uh, with Saint Maximilian, she is outlining a very concrete plan of warfare, which touches almost every level of human culture, not just the uh, re religious. That clearly was in his uh, in, in in his mind. Although not not many people have fully understood just how far-reaching is the plan of the militia. It seems only a few lines, et cetera. But again, Our Lady does not write books. She doesn't have to. She, she can get it all into a few sentences. And that's all we need to carry on. And it's amazingly, amazing, those who attend carefully to these things find that, uh, find that all of these different devotions, all of these different revelations are convergent. 
There is a great master vision behind them, which is gradually being made clearer, but it didn't originate with 1917. It was always there. Uh, but now as the work, particular applications are being made because there are particular circumstances. If we didn't have the revelations, we wouldn't realize how to pick out the key events, the key personalities, and why they are, uh, are, are key. But always there is that pattern the great struggle between the woman and the serpent, between the forces of the woman, and she has nothing less than her son and savior, savior and the forces that Satan can, can manage, which are inadequate, totally inadequate. But they can frighten and they can overcome us. One thing to remember, don't go it alone in the spiritual battle. Go with Our Lady. She is the victorious woman at every level, even the physical. Go it 